<laughs> right. So, um, first to start off, what is your name and profession? Uh, my name is Scott Radeke. I'm a STEM teacher at JCOS. I'm Noah Che Allman. I am 18 years old. I am a senior and I have been attending Jefferson County Open School for 13 years. Uh, my name is Mark Osman, and I'm a walkabout advisor here at the Open School. Well, the Open School is a K-12 community learning environment. And I think one of the things that makes the Open School unique is our emphasis on creating a community of learners uh, around democratic principles. So very often the point of classes at the open school is that we help coach kids in developing skills to be lifelong learners. So in the process, that means oftentimes I partner with kids in learning things that even I don't know which makes the job endlessly rewarding and unique compared to other places where I've been on in faculty and a teacher. So I think the real difference about the open school is that it's student-directed learning that students can choose their areas of interest and agreed that we still cover, you know, kind of traditional topics of math and science and English, but that students can really find um, themselves through the journey that they take at JCOS. So therefore, uh, I think that makes Ultimate Frisbee kind of really good fit with the open school. My name is Emily Cohen, and this is Ultimate 101. And in today's tutorial, we'll be going over how to play Ultimate Frisbee. Ultimate Frisbee is a team sport similar to soccer um, and sometimes basketball. is played seven versus seven. This is your handler. He's going to be the guy controlling the disc. And then you're going to designate one player to start off the stack. And he's going to yell out, yo, stack on me. And everyone's going to be like, oh, OK, let's line up behind this crazy dude yelling because he's saying stack on him. And your goal is to score in uh, an end zone, similar to how you score in football. The first line of defense the other team will use is the mark. His job is to force your handler to throw a certain direction. They are smart, they will each pick one teammate to defend against and stand on the side of the open lane to make it as challenging as possible for your team to utilize that open portion of the field. Starting from the back of the stack, your teammates will cut one by one in hopes to get open for the handler. The next cut is to pull your mark to away from mark because it is still possible for the rest of the side. Remember, mark blocks off half of the now, let's try a scenario where vert stack is successful. The last guy in the stack cuts in and that handler throws him the disc. He catches it and at that point, he immediately looks to throw up field. If nothing is there, he throws it back to the handler to gain about 15 or more feet. And you cannot move with the frisbee, so your goal is to slowly pass the frisbee to a teammate so you can score the end. I thought about this question a lot. One of the biggest reasons that Frisbee is more underground is because it doesn't inherently take on the more competitive nature that other sports take on. Um, like, it's been around for really 
almost the same amount of time that American football has been around. But football's huge in the United States. Um, Frisbee's not huge in the United States. It's getting there. But Frisbee is, is meant to be played in a spirited way. And the biggest emphasis on Frisbee is developing as humans and as people alongside developing as a Frisbee player. And when it comes to the majority of Americans wanting to watch a sport, I don't think that they care as much about somebody's character or sportsmanship than they do them wanting to hurt the other player and making a cool highlight reel where they do something bad. Um, I think that, I mean, that's my theory as to why Frisbee is not as um, well known. Um, I love ragtime piano. My very first year at the Open School was 2007, and that year, Lizzie Laurie was a senior. So the Open School program started with an advisor that was here years ago named Phil Laurie. Um, and he played like world-class Frisbee. He played, I think he won a national, an international, a college championship. I think he's in the Hall of Fame of Frisbee. Um, so he's a huge Frisbee player. Um, and he brought that to the open school. Um, Phil Laurie was on uh, the national team for open school. His team went to Europe and won first place. Um, he became super passionate about open school Frisbee, kind of brought that passion to the open school many years before my time. So when I arrived, there was a pretty thriving culture of open school students that played Frisbee, um, beginning with his own children. So Phil had three kids that all went through the open school. It was Ben Laurie, Lizzie Laurie, and Will Laurie. All three of them went on to become national champions, participating in collegiate and professional ultimate. Um, JCOS Catch of the Day Frisbee team fell off um, for a couple of reasons. The first one was because... Phil uh, retired right prior to the pandemic. And so those were two big hits to the open school ultimate scene. One being that there was no ultimate Frisbee because of the pandemic. And then two, being uh, you know our sole coach and principal cheerleader for Ultimate Frisbee retired, and he was a big uh, like all star of the program and would get all bunch of middle schoolers and high schoolers to play even if they didn't want to, and then they'd figure out that they loved it and continue to play, and just he was an amazing coach who had played for decades and knew what to do and how to make the team really really good. There was a process where we had former players with Phil kind of volunteering here and there, trying to revive Ultimate before the pandemic. And that was shut down after the pandemic. And it really looked like Open School Ultimate was on its last legs. Okay, Just Logan, my announcement is that I am not playing, not playing today what? because of a hamstring injury, unfortunately. Wow, we're going to go to a full... Can you run slower? I, 
that. I mean, I could hop off like a point and do like a full play. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. I got, I got athletic rap if you need. No, no, we're good. I'm got, not playing. I'm, I got playing. Therapy I'm not playing. I'm full coach you're today. That, you're definitely I'm playing. full coach the today. Okay, which is awesome, awesome, because I'm gonna be so dedicated and in tune with the team that we're gonna organize some stuff and we're gonna win today, okay? Because I really think that we can win this game. I'm getting All right? Back, we're gonna have our best minds on the case, yo. It's gonna be awesome. Oh. We're gonna be so organized and we're gonna, we're gonna work together. Because I think that sometimes I try and do too much on the field. Together. Ian, have you on the bus yet? And then that leads to problems. You already have okay? problems. But if I'm not on there, and we just got our solid team, solid we're going to be freaking awesome. So, all right? Yeah. The hype's going to be high. High. The fun's going to be high. High. We're going to get hyped up in the bus. Yeah. We got some tunes right here. Yeah. Thank God. See you driving around town with the girl I love and I'm like, forget you. I guess the change in my pocket wasn't enough. Uh, Noah was our GIC aide when I first got here and he started talking to me about it and, and then things got put together but Noah Allman approached myself and a new teacher named Scott and said, hey, I think I can cover the technical aspects of the coaching if you guys could help handle the kind of more adult aspects of enrolling in the league and organizing transportation and communicating about field space and games. Uh, Noah Allman has probably been the single most powerful lever in bringing Ultimate back. I mean, he was the impetus to start it again. Uh, now Noah's now a senior and he's gonna be graduating, so, but we're inspired that there's a lot of students that still wanna play. The spirit of the game is very strong in our community and we're hopefully gonna continue to play Ultimate in the future. Uh, with Noah graduating, that means Scott and I are kind of needing to brush up more on our technical and coaching skills to help guide players into the future of where Ultimate will go from here. But we're both really optimistic with the amount of enthusiasm and excitement that we have and the number of players that we have that, that it will continue to grow. Mark and I really decided uh, to just kind of let Noah run the show because he had so much more experience than we did in how the game works and coaching. And it's also been super helpful for Mark and I because we've learned a ton from him. and I. People keep saying, like, what are you guys going to do when Noah's not around? And so I think he really has prepped us to be able to be really confident in our coaching skills, uh, you know, as he exits. So I'm super thankful for what Noah's done. I sound like a coach. <laughs> we play 110%. We're going to focus on our game. We know who we are. <laughs> but also just trying to support really a student-led initiative to make sure that Ultimate Thris Frisbee continues to thrive. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of what we, that Scott and I have been doing this past year, is supporting this student initiative to maintain Ultimate, beginning with Noah Allman. I wanted to bring Frisbee back to the open school because I had a really, really positive experience playing it, and I wanted to share that with the people here. I also wanted to have that legacy of playing Frisbee here um, for myself and for the other people. Um, growing up here, I saw how great the Frisbee team was, and like almost winning states a couple of years in a row is a huge deal, especially for a small school like us, only you know, like 200 people, but pick from going up against schools that quite literally have over 2,000 kids. Um, so I just thought that was really awesome. So not only did I want to continue the legacy um, for myself, I wanted to continue it for other people. Um, and it just felt to me it was a staple of the community in a lot of ways. And when we lost that, it was kind of sucky. 
I also think that a lot of it was for selfish reasons in the beginning. Um, you know, I wanted to play Frisbee, and um, I was also, well, Coach Noah here. Yeah, no, give us the... And Coach Mark. Explain the situation. Strat. So the, situ this, the 101 of the situation is, will be delivered by Mr. Mark here. We need to get out there and we need to win. No, we just need to have fun. Because if you had fun, you won at the open school. True. But winning is more fun than losing. So if we want to have more fun, we should win. That is so real. Also, we forgot the frisbee bag. Yeah. So we only have one frisbee. But that's okay, because that's all you need. That's true. Oh. All right. I feel like we should get some John. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, yeah, we like should have brought a helmet. Hype up speaker. We got the speaker. Oh, well, let's get it going. Yeah, let's get it cooking. Ethan, how are you feeling about the game? Feeling really good. Uh, I feel like we got it. I feel like we got in the bag. Uh, pretty good field. Looking and we got the, the pressure of never playing again after this. Yeah. I feel like that's definitely an factor. And looking at their players, they got a pretty far range of short to tall. So, I don't know. I think we got it though. Yeah. Okay, okay. I think we got this game in the bag. We're doing some warm ups right now. Just drawing the competition. I mean, they're, what are they doing? Walking around? We got this in the bag. Come on now. He's right. Oh, oh, he's family. right. Easy pizza. How are you feeling about the game? Guys, okay. Oh. They're Montessori students. We're gonna wreck their. Hey, that's what they say about open school. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Bow dancer. I'm also, so ready, Logan. Center bar. Woo! Uh, what do you think about how our season's gone so far? I think it's gone so good. It gives us the chance to make a comeback, Logan. To 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 go from. This is our underdog story. Take it all and win. This guy knows it. Hell yeah, no, guy, I'm gonna play in this right now. Sort of. Yeah! Who wants eye black though, for real? Are we just not? You not look so. Yeah. Next three! So aggressive and. Aggressive? Yeah. Okay, well, that's good. Here. Scandalous type mix song. Mellow in your face like the Knicks on is long. Gripped in the pits with my wits on. Blow quick, short wick on a lip bomb. Okay, are we just going to one of the houses? Okay, everybody. Hey, can you say hi? Hey. Hi. Hi. Okay. Touch up, touch up, touch up. Oh no, this is a bad story. Smells like a bunch of winners. Yeah. Smells like a bunch of winners. Yeah. Smell it. I smell some, uh... I, I don't, honestly, I don't think I've been so hyped to play a frisbee game in like, in like a solid, like, year. Alright. Hi, Mark. I'm so hyped to play this game, I'm not even gonna play in it, alright? Like, the energy, I can just sense it, I can feel it. Like, this is gonna be a good freaking game. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, we're ready. Yeah. Good game. Let's oh, bring yeah. the heat. Yeah, uh, it let's is bring hot. the heat like yeah. right away. We're getting first. Yeah. We're getting first. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm just like so excited. I've yeah. the key, the <laughs> key to taking this W right here is to keep the energy high, to keep you know the love coming. All right, yeah. to keep the support going. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Ooh. That's that's gonna be the key to this W right here, okay? And I am so excited to play this game because I know it's gonna be a super super fun game regardless of what happens. And like Mark was saying earlier, if you had fun, you won. Yeah! Okay, that's, that's, that's for real right there. Okay, that's that's on God. So this is this is our last game 
of of the season no, of the year. It's not. All right. Oh, Potentially. Potentially. No. So I, I no, really, we gotta put I really all just want beer everybody us. to have as much fun as possible and to go out there and enjoy. We're playing on this super awesome field against this super nice team Beautiful that we can totally boy. win it's against. Okay. Yeah. 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 I really want us to have some fun and enjoy playing with each other because this might be the last time that we will ever we play with each other. Well, I still think this is a really special team. All right. This is the first time we have jerseys in like four years. We had a real team in like a long time, all right? Yeah, so I'm just super excited. Continue to play for each other, okay? But really honestly, like go out there and try and win this game so we can play again tomorrow, all right? Yeah! yeah. Okay. No, we're not doing Swing that. Or Wait. Swing. Swing. All right, all day life. Ooh. All night life. Ooh. Chili on life, O line life, D line life, one like. through life, like. deep down life, four face life, defense life, offense life, reset life, Arson life. Alright, catch the day on three, one, two, three, catch the day! As a coach, I don't believe that I struggle with being an authority figure. I think I'm really good at facilitating the team and um, having them look up to me when it comes to being a Frisbee player, which contributes to them seeing me as a coach rather than just a player or another high school friend. Come on! Run him over! <laughs> if, you to, if you go to this game right now, I nope, will play. Austin, I'll bet you more money! Like, hey, I well, play in the tree! Like you you cannot play. Soup, you cannot bro. play. I swear. He won't show us. They had so many phenomenal players. I know, I'm surprised because Noah and I thought they'd have two or three players that were maybe really good, but they had a good balance. Yeah. Compass was a lot better than I thought. Uh, they had some players that were just deadly accurate. Uh, I don't know if you saw some of those tomahawk throws that were going way over people's head and just hitting people right in the hands. And so that was kind of a really cool thing to watch was the level of throwing skill. So after a game, obviously people kind of, you know, give each other a little bit of dap and, you know, bump elbows and all that. And that's kind of a cool thing. But then the two teams usually separate and kind of honor the team more deeply with some kind of hilarious, you know, it's kind of links back to the old little league, two, four, six, eight, you know, who do we appreciate kind of thing. But so the, the one at Compass was, um, a unicorn thing where everybody got on each other's back and kind of made this unicorn shape from the backside and kind of pranced around and then King had a compass and then eventually found the team but hey you know our win-loss record might not be great but we are number one in the state when it comes to that ritual so <laughs> that's where as a former athlete I really love that piece of it where Teams are kind of communing in a mixed circle, right? They're not necessarily separated by team. And you're recognizing excellence in whatever way uh, between opposing players, opposing teams. And you're just like really hard to And it's such a great way to end the day because it's this thankful, gratitude-filled moment of saying, hey, I really appreciated this about you. And it can be little moments or big moments from the game, but I just really like that we recognize each other, you know, as ultimate team, you know, teammates.
you know, that it's bigger than just a team, that it's the broader part of the game. And, and you know, I know it can sound cheesy, but the spirit of the game comes through most deeply, I think, in that final ritual. It's also good that it's not football or basketball or soccer, you know. It being the underdog allows people to kind of shine and do their own thing in a really cool way. So the fa I, I don't know. I worry about the sport. If it gets too big, it will lose some of these more intimate moments. Um, but I just think ultimate is about connections with other teams and good fair play, great attitude, lots of spirit. But again, a focus on more than just win-loss and stats and kind of an experiential thing that's really, really positive for young people. So I'm, I'm really proud to be part of it. Well, I guess, I, again, I would just reiterate the importance of like having an outlet for both athletics and spirit and community. And I think those three things really come together nicely with Ultimate Frisbee. It's a very exciting game to watch and to play. And um, I think it's accessible to so many kids because the what, what you need is basically two hands and a piece of plastic to throw between you. Um, so there's a lot of reasons why I think Ultimate Frisbee is is an amazing sport and a really good fit for our community. And I look forward to helping Open School write the next chapter of Catch of the Day. I'm not sure if there's a deep meaning behind Ultimate Frisbee. I mean, it really is just a sport that a lot of people play, just like any other sport. I think that where it differentiates between other sports is its value of sportsmanship and open-mindedness to all players. But I think that once you get into the community, you see how much bigger it really is. Um, and looking from the outside, it's like, hmm, it's kind of a weird hippie sport. Doubt very many people play it. And then once you're really in it, you're like, oh my God. Like, there are so many different opportunities and players, and this is a big community, it's like a tight-knit community. I am super proud of the Frisbee team that has been reborn over the past four years. And I give myself a lot of credit for that. And I also give Scott Radeke and Mark Osman a ton of credit for it. And most of all, the players and students who blindly decided to join Ultimate Frisbee the most credit because it's not easy and none of it would be possible if anyone just decided to join it. Um, so I'm so proud and happy of the community that has been built to support Frisbee and the community that has been made because of Frisbee. The political status of America. Thank you. Oh. Yes. And how they're lying. Pro-political party. It's been a pleasure. Has opened the American Too American and American emotional. <laughs> it's the greatest seat in the mind. Have a good evening. See you later. Scott? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Good. So grateful for Mark and Scott for bringing this book <laughs> and all the people who decided oh, to join this thing. Uh, Don't you hesitate. Go put your records on. Tell me your favorite song. You go ahead, let your head down. Sapphire and faded jeans. I hope you get your dreams. Just go ahead, let your head down. You're gonna find yourself somewhere, somewhere. 
as the sky sunburn and lonely sipping tea in a bar by the roadside just relax, just relax. don't you let those other boys fool you got a love that I for heavy maybe sometimes we feel afraid but it's all Stronger. 